What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Landaris from LNL Line Service. Back at you. Anyway, just sitting up here right now. I just got finished uh, in the garage. Just got finished in the garage. You guys, want to know what I was doing in the garage? I was cleaning out this nice size space for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a special day. Today is uh, March the 11th. March the 12th is the special day. Yeah. A big boy is coming. Yeah. Big boy coming tomorrow. Big boy coming tomorrow. I won't be able to pass up any yards with my big boy. No yards being passed up this season. No siree. No matter what size, I'm going to be good. You feel me? With my big boy coming tomorrow. I'm going to leave. I'm uh, I'm going to get a video on it. Uh, I wish I was computer savvy. That way, man, I can have like edited and do some crazy stuff and, and put some music behind there and do something like things that be in my head that I would like to do, but I can't do it because I'm not computer savvy like that. So therefore I'm missing out on doing some of the good things that some of these other guys be doing on their Facebook. But you know, it's all right. I'm going to start fiddling around with that and things like that. That's why the lawn care uh, millionaire was like, Hey, get out from under it, get out from under the working aspect of business, you know, uh, be getting out in the field, get out from under that real quick. That way you can work on your marketing, 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 do a whole bunch of marketing. A lot of stuff that you could do with marketing, uh, that, that takes up time. So that's why business grows slower because you're trying to do a little bit of marketing, but you got to put in the work. When you're putting in the work, you wish you could have somebody out there like putting in the marketing and going and knocking on the doors, bringing some more business. So while you busy, some more business is coming in. You know what I'm saying? So flip it. Get somebody that's just as uh, excited as you that you could pay a nice little wage to and that you can have them out in the field while you're doing the marketing. Learn the marketing. Learn how to do it. Put the boots on the ground. Put your grinding on, get out there, get customers, get customers to know who you are, get customers to know your brand. But everything goes slow when you out there trying to, when, when you, that man, you the man and you doing everything. You doing the book work, you doing the chasing down the customers, you doing, you know, uh, the work out in the field, you doing the estimates, you doing the organization, organizing things, you doing the maintenance, you doing all this stuff where you can't really focus on the marketing. And I get what he's saying. Because if I was out there just doing marketing, I believe my business would grow a little bit quicker. You know, so um, that's what I want to try to do too. I want to learn everything that I can learn and then get out from under the business, get somebody to get out there in the field and I can do the marketing. Simple as that, uh, where the business can grow. So, um, y'all see this sign up here? Okay. I had two of those signs on my truck. And what happened was, um, the sun baked it on there. Cause I would try to take a morning off every so often, clean that spot off. Cause I heard if you keep those on there, they'll fade out your paint. So I was afraid. I'm like, man, I got to take these off. I would take them off, wash it, blah, 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 wash where they were at. Uh, and I would try to take them off. But, man, you running and you running. And I think the sun baked the, one of them on there. Like, it kind of stuck it on there. And I was trying to peel it off. And I was tearing out the sign. So I had tore the sign up, kind of, you know. Where you're not, I'm not going to put it back on the truck or anything. And I just stuck this one up here for show. Uh, I'll use the magnets on the back of it. And I put the magnets on my business card. There's my business card with the lamination, whatever. That's my business card. 
and I put the magnets on the back so that, you know, and I give these to somebody, I say, hey, there's a magnet on the back, just throw it on your back of your refrigerator. And like on here, it just sticks on there. Bam. Yeah. So instead of just throwing that sign away, my magnet, and I still got part of that sign left where I could just throw magnets on my, my business cards and things like that. Uh, and sometimes I could throw, I could get those business cards and some people have metal mailbox. You just slap them right on there. They just stick the doors, put them right on there. Uh, mailbox by the by the, uh, on their porch stick it on there and it sticks so uh, instead of just throwing that thing away I, I tried to utilize I paid for it tried to utilize it and put the magnets on the back of them so I got a whole bunch of business cards with that on there okay I know y'all been wanting to see but I still haven't taken out that echo that echo still in the box I'm <laughs> Trust me, guys, I'm going to use that thing, and uh, I got some stuff I got to do around the house. I got uh, uh, a, a little a tree on the side of the house that I want to cut down. I got some other stuff that I want to cut down that I need to cut down. I'm going to use that, get some footage of that. Um, this week is going to be a busy week because it's my, my, my daughter's birthday. You know, uh, it's vacation week for me. To let y'all guys know, I do have another job, uh, the lawn care Um service is part-time that I try to uh, incorporate into my schedule. Uh, I like work like every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I, I'm putting in the work with the lawn care, you know, and that's what I did last season. It worked out. Uh, I didn't feel tired or anything last year. I mean, even though I was working seven days a week or whatever the case was, uh, I didn't feel tired, you know, because this business is driving me like it's like I get a burst of energy when I wake up in the morning. I get out there. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to cut the lines, do all this other stuff. So I got some stuff lined up. I got some uh, fertilization, some some yards I got to fertilize. I got some yard cleanups that I got to take care of and, you know, just cutting people's yard for the first time, you know, for the season. I got to do that, but that's all going to happen next week after this week. Uh, like I said, today's the 11th. Tomorrow, the 12th, I'm getting a big boy. That's right, a big boy. Anyway, I'm also, y'all can see right there, customers are coming in. Customers are come, going on. I still got right here. I got two more potential customers that I'm still talking to that, say they're going to sign on or sign up with me. So I'll probably be putting them back over, over here in this box. Uh, and what else? That's about it. Uh, I got my, look at this guys. My desk is a mess. I got to clean this day. My desk is a mess. My pictures. I try to keep all this stuff for my, my 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 work but my kids want to put pictures and stuff all everywhere so i can't take them down so they're up there uh <laughs> i take them down i'm in trouble uh right here is my dream board i got three aspects that i'm, I'm focusing on my job like i said i have a full-time job my job my business and then my new adventure one day if the business does good then I'm going to jump into some real estate as far as I want to get something like a property or something, a duplex, triplex, fourplex, something like that. And guys, just to be honest with you, um, I think about it all the time. You know, during my 20s, I was a little bit more mature than some of my friends back in the day because my, my grandfather instilled some type of work ethic in me, like go work, save your money. Save your money, work, save your money. You'll be able to do things that you want to do. 
you want to buy things you want to buy. I bought things, but as a 20 year old, I was buying junk. I was buying crap. You know, I would save for something. I blow a thousand. I would save 2000 and I blow it on something. I should have been investing that money. I should have been investing that money in myself. That's what I should have been doing. Uh, but I didn't have a mentor to be like, like that. Like I said, I had my grandfather instilling some things in me, but as far as somebody saying, Hey, why don't you take that money and start your business up? I didn't really have that, you know? Uh, so I wish I would have had that and I could have put that money towards something else. I probably would be further along right now than what I am today, but that's in the past. Can't change that. So now what I'm doing, guys, I'm investing in myself now. I'm not trying to blow money on crazy crap, junk. I'm investing my money. Everything that you guys see, uh, my trailer, my truck, uh, uh, my lawnmowers, this, this new one I'm going to get is all paid for. All paid for. Every Everything I got. As far as to do with this lawn care business, is paid for. Not bragging, not doing none of that. But I used to just save all the time and I wasn't investing my money in nothing. So I'm like, man, I'm investing now, you know, so I'm hoping it's going to pay off. That's why I'm putting 110% into this, you know, uh, and I got a plan. I got a plan, guys. So, um I got a plan on what I'm going to do, and uh, those are my things on my dream board that I'm going to try to accomplish. That's why I don't mind dumping money into this business, buying stuff, and uh, hoping that the profits soar uh, so that I could uh, make this money back and some and uh, start I'm just going to invest in myself from now on out. Uh, you know, you got one life to live, you know, and uh, invest, invest, invest in yourself and in your business. And hopefully it'll turn around and you'll be able to do some of the, the things that, that you always wanted to do. Take trips that you always want to take, you know, but you got, I got to get this off the ground first. I got to get this lawn care business taking off I'm going to take it off because I got the drive I'm ready to do this guys for real uh, it, I'm, I'm putting everything into this as far as what I need to do to try to make this work you know so that being said I'm about to get out of here uh, like I said subscribe like Leave me some uh, questions if there's anything you want to know. There's a certain amount of stuff that I could probably tell you because I'm still learning. Uh, but I can tell you from what I did from the, the get-go, from the beginning to where I'm at now, uh, I could give you some, some, some things or some pointers to do uh, from that aspect. But, you know, I'm still learning myself, guys. So uh, this is my second year doing this and uh, uh, I can't wait to, for it to start up again talking to customers you know trying to get those up sales on certain things and and, and, and just trying to get out there and grind and just talk to people man uh, it, it, it's a fun feeling like I said I can't explain it but it's a fun feeling to get out there and make your own money and uh, at the same time uh, feel good about doing a service for somebody and, and reaping the benefits of that, that satisfaction uh, when you're done with a yard and stuff. And getting paid, you're done with a yard, you get paid, you're like, man, man, I hooked this yard up to today, you know what I'm saying? So that being said, um, tomorrow, you guys going to see this big boy roll in. I don't know if I'm going to, I wish, like I said, I wish I was computer savvy. With the with the with the editing and chopping and music and all that, man, I, it, it'd be so cool. But maybe two years from now, three years from now, a year from now, I might be able to do it. So we'll see. I'm still trying to fiddle around with it and stuff like that. But 
uh, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll pump out some videos, and, and then sooner or later, <laughs> I'll look back and say, man, I had these type of videos, and now I'm up to these type of videos. So, uh, guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, message, um, and I'm out. Be look, be, stay tuned for uh, my big boy I'm getting tomorrow. All right? I'm out. Peace.